Hello from we guys for today's video. Now guys, this is breaking news right here from Crypto Will. Breaking Japan's financial services agency seeking to ban stable coins like Tether. What? Amid ongoing fraud, price manipulation, and money laundering concerns. Now guys, remember, we have been talking about this for a little bit now, right? About Tether going down. Bye bye Tether. And if that takes place, right? Or when that takes place, guess what happens? to the whole cryptocurrency market everything falls because most of these coins or i should say all of these coins are basically paired with usdt right so as soon as this money printing machine fails all else falls down as well look at this guys japan's top regulators propose new bill to ban tether so guys basically they're just proposing right a new bill so who knows when will this new bill will take into effect right and will come into play now, if you go down here, what is interesting is Japan loves XRP. Again, isn't that interesting? Japan comes out and says they're doing this, but they also love XRP. Do we see how this is all probably going to play out? Reading the comments, it's always mind-blowing how many are willing to defend Tether who are clearly committing fraud, regardless of whether the article is true or not. And where is Gary Gensler? Hello? He's nowhere to be seen with these concerns of Tether, right? Where is Gary Gensler? Again, very funny, isn't it? Now, listen to Sweet out. Well, the crypto fed Tether, sorry, keeps delivering boosts for Bitcoin. Tether clients scam exchanges, sorry, keep buying round numbers of Tether to invest in the crypto market. Coins tokens controlled by China, sorry. Again, regulations and then Tether game over and then doomsday. As we can see, this is where everything collapses guys right and then probably what happens after this is guess what sec gives clarity to xrp because it's time now now xrp is now this you know called the safe haven asset right so these things are making sense now i did tweet this out buy when there's blood in the streets even if the blood is your own what do we see right here because what's happening in this crypto sphere as we see today if we go here to the crypto fear and greed index right Look at this now extreme fear yesterday literally yesterday we were at 16 guys back when we were at these levels right guess what happens every time when we're at these levels look what happens we bounce back up to where greed and extreme greed right so again guys usually when everyone's in fear what happens these people these market these market makers these market manipulators do what? Do the opposite of the herd, of the retail, right? Everyone's in fear now, probably will go back up again. I did buy more XRP uh, a few days ago when that crash did take place. I think around 67 cents, 66 cents, I don't know, somewhere around there. Now, Attorney Jeremy, so you know, XRP legal army equals 65,000 people strong. Look at this, guys. This is insane. Tampa Bay Buccaneers holds 65,000 people. XRP Army has enough people signed onto the class action first SEC Gov to fill on James Stadium. Again, guys, so basically look how many people. 65,000, but where is Gary Gensler? Again, Gary Gensler. Guys, this is crazy because he's nowhere to be seen. Which this ties in with a few other tweets, guys, we see right here. Digital asset investors suit out while Gary Gensler sues Ripple and attacks crypto innovation in the USA. This is who he's on the phone with. He won't address 60,000 innocent XRP holders at all. Guys, look at this. It all makes sense. I don't feel guilty because I'm engaged in an amoral activity which is not meant to have anything to do with guilt. Part of the reason he is so rich is that the Soros hedge funds operate offshore in the Netherlands Antilles to avoid scrutiny by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So even while Soros tells Congress and the Treasury that hedge funds must be regulated to stop the global crisis, he's avoiding the rules. Why is it that, uh, that Americans can't invest in the quantum fund? It's an offshore fund. Why is that? Because the fund is not registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, so so uh, uh, we, we are not licensed to do business in the United States. That's right. Because? Be because we are not registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. 
because we, we find it more convenient to operate without it. So in some ways it's to escape regulation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is hilarious, guys. So basically, it's crazy because these people can break the rules, right? But Ripple hasn't done anything wrong. Actually, Ripple was working with the SEC, right? With the government to say, hey, every week they're meeting with them. Are we good to go? So what's happening? Some people get away. Again, this is this is crazy to me, guys. This is absolutely ins insanity, right? Whereas XRP is without waiting on the outcome. Shall this be a good week for the XRP community? We will see again. Look at this, guys. Upcoming due dates. SEC first Ripple Labs. November 8th, 2021. So this was from a while back. So a few dates have already passed. We see November 12th. And then today, deadline for the SEC to comply with most aspects of the court of the court's October 21st, 2021 order regarding two discovery disputes. Specifically, the order required the following, as you guys can read right there. So when will this case conclude? That's what we're all waiting for, right? Number one, I believe this will all finish up around spring guys early spring probably right maybe ish there now as soon as this completes and is done with will the price of xrp go up i believe so but i did hear what if it doesn't right what if there is a specific date for them to release those bots to make the uh, to make xrp's price go up again there's so many different theories guys we're all speculating here but again it's very interesting isn't it what we see today with what's happening, this whole shenanigans show, this whole shenanigans sh case. Now, Bank XRP Sudo, Judge Netburn ordered both parties in the SEC for Ripple lawsuit to review and supplement their arguments. For months, the Securities and Exchange Commission has refused to hand over documents regarding the agency th agency's thoughts and discussions over XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Guys, we, can, we don't make these things up. This is insane, isn't it? Basically, look. Ripple offered a new chance to argue for SEC documents on XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. But, but what's happening? The SEC doesn't seem to want to hand over the documents, right? If you go down here, so first the judge orders the SEC multiple times to hand over the documents. Then on August 31st, she decides to do an in-camera review. And on November 29th, three months later, the law changes. So within those three months, the documents still weren't handed over insane again you guys can see how this is absolutely corrupt guys it's it's absolutely mind-boggling right but remember who who said i forgot who stated this but the sec goes after these companies who threatens their things right their industries the industries of america but what happens after is the government of america will support these technologies right so in my humble opinion all of this is just a show they are merely you know throwing this act just to put this in the history books basically basically now crypto wells you know these ethereum gas fees are insane they want me to pay one hundred and eighty two thousand dollars in fees to transfer to 120 dollars so guys what is happening basically we see estimated gas fees right i don't know if this is a actual picture or what not but if if this is legit guys to send what a hundred and twenty dollars you have to pay a hundred and eighty two thousand nine hundred eighty one dollars which which is equivalent to 43 ethereums guys how does that make sense at all this is absolutely mind-boggling right this is absolutely insane. If you go down here, what fixes this? XRP fixes this, right? So we see the proof in the pudding where XRP comes into play of all of this. Imagine XRP implementing a new financial system, guys. They need XRP. Remember that. They truly desire XRP, but they're playing it off as they don't want it and such, right? But they're doing that because the time it isn't ready yet. Time isn't ready yet. We need those events to first happen right then these other events quickly fall as well so again guys basically at the end of the day what are we doing we have to be patient for everything to just finish 
And it seems like we are close to the finale, guys, to the finish line. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have please leave a like, subscribe, so for future people around, so hope you guys are having an amazing day. And guys, see ya.